Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, morning, guys. Good morning, man. I hope Melala Vizuri. Uh, on the weather, I see promising sana, but you have a story for hey, that. Hey, weather ni mzuri ya kulala, my friend. Yeah, ya kukaa tu kwa nyumba. Mm-hmm. All right. So we shall be talking all about FPL as we get uh, prepared for game week 30. Of uh, course, game week 30 is a double game week. Unaruma it might be the only double game week. I don't know how to do that. Is it only Kweli? Uh, chances are, yes, it might be the only double game week. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, it's a very good double game week. Yeah. Uh, because uh, everybody gets a free wild card. So it's like... It's like the only gift Corona has given us here. So everybody gets a free one. Yeah. Interesting. I don't think so, it's uh-huh. the only game. I don't think it's the only double game week because yeah. with the FA Cup still there to play quarters, I think, semis and the final. Mm. Yeah. When so many teams in to play, we may have some fun. Oh, yeah, we might have a double. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So if you still have three teams. Evans, I'm an Evans. Hi. Evans. Okay. So let me introduce you. Others just introduce Nikona. On my far left, top left, Nikona Ribia. He's a Man United fan. He also represents the locker room. Below him, Nikona Evans. Uh, Evans Dexter, a Chelsea diehard. And then, to Kona Eric Njiru, a Liverpool fanatic. <laughs> But then the other, one of the other guys when you to join, I a Liverpool fan. And I told Musa Amir, I'm going to prepare a parade. I'm going to prepare a parade. All right. So, gentlemen, Maze, uh, to happy Liverpool, Kwanza. Liverpool, big champions to be. Uh, be uh, by the time we I think, na Crystal Palace. Mm-hmm. Crystal Palace, you know, we're going to right? You know, we may still win the league this week if Arsenal can beat City. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Even Zimo Mike, I love to talk about Congo washing. Siski, your background is crazy. I can't answer to a nigga from Kimita's children. Where do I dig your answer? I can't answer to a nigga. Ama, let me. Evans, I can't even mute too. Let me just mute you. Then when uh, I'll be talking to you, you can mute. It took up, it took up, up until, I think. Uh, all right. So, Eric, go on. Exactly. So, saying we may win the league on Sunday if City lose to Arsenal on Wednesday. Although we all know that that's that's really hard for them to beat City. Yeah. So, my advice to FPL owners, managers, right now, if you want to get Liverpool players, make sure you have like two right now for the next just two game weeks. Mm-hmm. From there, let's say like we may we play Everton, then we play Palace, and I think we play City. I'm going to play City before Palace in between the Irons. I don't remember. So uh-huh. those will be the most important matches because we really need to do this thing to Mazana Pema in case we postpone the league again. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great chance for you to get, let's say, like now Trent and Salah Mamane, one of them. And then from there now, you go back to the players who are now fighting for the top four because we don't know what club may do. Club and as a player, Minamino, let's say, Origi, a start, Akna mm-hmm. Curtis Jones. So the only time you are sure about Liverpool score now is now and the next three matches. From there, just jump into Man United, to Chelsea, to Arsenal, to Leicester City, to Spurs, to Wolves. Is your team doesn't fight your top four. And yeah. at a city after that, what a kuana, you know how Pep likes to nini, to Zungusha is called. And now can five substitution. Uja mata kwa to miazote. So I would have you to pick Liverpool players now for the next just three matches. Then from there jump into the top four contenders. Okay. Ribia, uh-huh. una double game week we game week thirty. Should we focus all our efforts on that? I'm a, you know, what was your game triple captain? I'm a, you know, what, what do we do? do? Do we just focus all our efforts on game week thirty and then the double, or should we just hold back a little bit? Uh better the devil you know than the one you don't know. I, I think this is a really good double game week, considering yeah. uh, the, the teams are, and the fixtures that are having. For example, uh, Man City is having two very nice fixtures mm-hmm. with the Arsenal, who they have a reputation of beating with a high goal margin and keeping a clean sheet. Uh, but the second match is kind of hard, Burnley. Uh, it's a good defensive team. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Arsenal also have a double <laughs> game week. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, they're playing Man City in their first match. Mm-hmm. And then the second game, they're playing uh, Brown Mitchell Al- Albion, which is a very easy match, if you ask me. Uh, we might yeah. see a lot of high goals, considering uh, I, I, look, I foresee a negative result versus Man City. So well, I, I don't get any Arsenal defenders. But against uh, Brown Mitchell Al- Al- Albion, I expect them to like retaliate with Domachung, who may have a good match in there. Yeah, and then the team that I really the best team for that will give me right now, which you guys are not looking at, uh, is uh, Sheffield United. United, they are playing Aston Villa and Newcastle away. Uh, I haven't checked their away record, look at them, but uh, I'm looking at their defenders. Remember, mm. these guys have given the best defensive returns, yes. And they also have this guy, although it was the end of uh, it was before Corona, the last three matches, he came in as a mm. low strap. Mm. Uh, he plays as midfielder, attacking midfielder, but he's as a defender in FBL, so he's worth the risk. And uh, their goalkeeper, of course, is uh, one of the best. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah, Henderson yeah, is right there, yeah. and then you also have the other, the other defenders from uh. Um, the guys of Baldock and Steve. Yeah, uh, they pretty, pretty good. So, if you're looking at in terms of FBL double gimmicks, it's a really good. Uh, I'd advise guys to play that chip uh, right now. Uh, all out attack, uh, double gimmicks, especially if you're behind. If you're behind and you want to win a team, uh, it's a technical risk. This double uh, yeah, and then uh, lastly on that FPL team, what I'd say is uh, you should have to ask strategy. For example, if you really if you really use your wild card, mm. then you can't uh, play what you will give me a mm. And then, but if you have not used a wild card, you can go all out and still use a chip in this game week. And then next game week, you can activate your wild card and yes, plan for the long haul. So in a depend now, Ville Timiako. And then lastly. From the many of your seasons of play, I've learned uh, not to put all your eggs in one basket. That means don't put all your hopes in one double game. Yeah. So, for example, uh, this uh, Man City and Arsenal, uh, they have double games, game yes, but their yeah. fixtures are. If they have a tough fixture, you will have to avoid Because if you have a double game, you have to your four points. Two points each. So, so you need to be careful. Uh, learning from me, you need to put Captain Man in that double game. I can talk off injured after three minutes. I can put three points. So it was painful. So you just need to be careful how you do it. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, but uh, take a risk also. All right. Mwanya, but to join Saini Vini. Vini, ni aje? Finisias. Mwanya, this is a United fan, Kamo Arabia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can- Yes, we can. We can hear you. Sasa, kuna okay. double game week happened. Kuna teams, of course, there's going to double ni Aston Villa, Sheffield, Arsenal, and Man City. Which team do you think uh-huh. you to choose a captain? To choose a captain from which team exactly? Do we go away with Sheffield, oh, okay. Lund, uh, Haka, Lundstrom, like Rilian was saying? To go to Arsenal and pick someone like Obama Young. Yeah. More often than not, you'll always go and come to the people in Man City. I'm a twin Man City to choose a Mfika Aguero. What do you think? Okay, first, first, first and foremost, I'm, I'm looking at the teams right now. And uh, the team teams going to double game week. Mm. Uh, the the, the 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 team that looks the best bet for points mm. is man city considering their fixtures and the kind of players are for now mm-hmm. so i'm thinking if i'm going to go with a captain i'm going to go with a captain for man city because uh, man city are playing mm-hmm. with uh, arsenal and Burnley. Mm-hmm. and from previous seasons we've seen uh, okay arsenal have not had the best defense this season and yeah. uh, man city are known to score goals <laughs> i think zile times of course kufunga ni against man united I think it's only one, once or twice they've not scored this season. So, yeah. The best bet here is that Man, Man United, uh, Man City is going to score. So you mm. get a player from Man, Manchester City and captain that player, mm. that's a safe bet. That's a safe bet. The other thing I'm also looking at, uh, mm-hmm. I'm also looking at other teams uh, apart from Man City. Mm. If you look at a team like Arsenal, which also has a double game week, Kuna mm. players, Fulani want to stand out for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are, well, despite whoever they are playing, mm-hmm. Arsenal, you expect Aubameyang to mm-hmm. be on the score sheet or either contribute to a goal most of yeah. the times. I talk yeah. earlier record, the Arsenal side is um, one person who has uh, contributed a lot to their goals. So uh, uh, if you are going for Arsenal, Aubameyang has to be there. Just be there. So considering again, considering again the budget you have 
I, I, I'm thinking about a player like Saka for Arsenal. Mm. Saka is not very expensive, and uh, the last few game weeks, Alikua, he was a mainstay in the team, mm. and he was contributing to the goals and the assists. Kwa hivyo kama uko na unapanga pia na budget yako, ndio mm. kinunua mtu kama Aguero. I'm very sure most people who are going for double game week kinunua Aguero, menunua DB, yeah. on Aubameyang. Pesa pia na run short. So if you go for Saka, that's another another good buy. Yeah. I'm expecting if Arsenal are going to score. Oh, that's okay. okay. No. I think he was going to say if Arsenal is going to score, he's expecting either Aubameyang and or Saka to contribute to something. Your man, I'll make a Saka up. I'll make a Saka up. Yeah, indeed. You guys, a project for your game week 30 in a card because the double, uh, Chelsea, I'm going to double, but when the team's cast, I'm going to double Sheffield, Aston Villa, I'm going to double Jack Grealish. Well, yeah, 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 <laughs> and when you low budget option, like any Saka is a deliver son. Yeah. Can you tell me what I'm not doing? Love the. I think double gaming is me. I'm gonna trend ya captain, goalkeepers who perform, no matter defender. Kuna when you, when you're not going to consistent in clean sheets, I think pay in as a kuwa. As a kuwa nini? Okay, you are my paper. I think I'm gonna figure out my kelele sana uko. Eric. Yes. Acha niweke options za screen sharing. Squad yangu inakaa kitukaa hii. Huko ni Facebook kwenye tuko live. Um, Sky Sports. Acha niweke hii. So, FPL uh, my team. Mhm. Uh-huh. Namna hii. So we're gonna Henderson car goalkeeper. We are gonna double game week. Mm-hmm. Doherty, Hannah double, but Doherty and uh, you contribute a lot, you know, to, to Wolves and he scores sometimes. And I come up with mm-hmm. against Man City Boxing Day. Alexander, Alexander Maze is so not just Alexander. Mm-hmm. Uh, then Kuna Lundstrom, Nimem Chukwa basically because of the double game week. Nothing more, nothing less. Plus, he's also a key guy for your squad. Then kuna Jack Grealish, mm-hmm. Bernardo Silva. How are we going to your double game week? After double game week, natoa moja hawa. Most likely Bernardo Silva nita muuza. Niweke mswa Liverpool hapo. Because sintakuwa na World Card. I'm thinking, nita tumia World Card yangu in game week 31. Mm-hmm. Juice Jui uko kungine kuna kaje. Then Cantwell. Cantwell ni mweka juu pesa ilisha. <laughs> and mm-hmm. he was cheap. So I had to fix him somewhere there. Then, I have Aubameyang as my striker, alongside Aguero, because of the double game weeks. Na Martinelli. I feel like Martinelli and Eza Cheza, consider the five substitutions as it was in a piano, plus when you have Cheza normally for Arsenal, Nimse, mm-hmm. you almost feel like he will most likely start in one of those two games. Mm-hmm. Well, he's a good guy. He knows how to find the back of the net. Maybe an Eza score. Mm-hmm. But, Eric, Nyambie, Muna Cheza na Everton Kwanza. On Sunday, to bank on, on you guys beating Everton, I'm a, it's a quad tricks, it's a quad tricky game because you must say derby, nevertheless. Should it's you a derby like on, a on, on, on so. it's a derby that you always win, but should we bank so much on you guys to, to get good you, points against Everton? What I'm sure, eh? hmm. it's derby, it's a derby, and I'm a fans, yeah. So, obviously, derby now, I'm Kubas and Ojama fans, we all know that, but your game which determine a lot with what will happen. On Wednesday between City and Arsenal. It's to be honest, game. if City lose to Arsenal, mm-hmm. we know that they can't lose. But if they lose, yeah, Everton must be ready to lose that game on Sunday. Either way, I don't think Everton are going to win. Not as it I think mm-hmm. some man are going to score on that game, and yeah, I think we're going to win. So I would advise you, but they, if you're picking between Salah and Mane, pick Salah. Mm-hmm. You know, Salah is in the race to win the Golden Boot for the third time in a in a row. And he even, said, he even said last week, Bawan, mm. you'll try to win it again, like 
for a third season ana chisio record ya Thierry Henry alafu bado ndo kwa penalty ni penalty duties mm. kama mail na chezi mm. so i think he has a is a half a chance than any than Sergio Mane going to the running going to the running ah so ile anapotenga ma headache once picking between Mane and uh, Salah is a headache uh, yeah then but... the worst part is if you pick one the other one performs in our two ah annoying I and know, then right? if you... <laughs> yeah and then the thing is if you sell each, each or either of them you lose value because they've gained so much value by the time yeah. they are the other one you lose James, value what, what i've learned mm. between those two guys you just have to stick with one kwenda kabisa like me ni mistake na sala from the first day of the season until around november then i got mane ile time alikuwa anafunga games more then i got tired with him i got yeah. sala back again so yeah. if you tore and put you tore and put you're going to lose some points so if you deserve kuna moja like for six matches that should cause it, i can say yeah. is depending on this season manze for me money me kwa crazy mm-hmm. the only reason why salah took over took money in points when number money got injured eh? mm-hmm. yeah. after double game mix salah ka capitalize but right now the difference in points is 11 points salah is ahead by 11 points and it's only that period which money is too much yeah. so money mm-hmm. has been on crazy form this season now the problem yeah. with corona is like it's like a new season So you don't know that form doesn't count. But you are sure that yeah. Like how do you so maybe let let people on the friendlies. But people on friendlies let me take his salary the perform poor come and if we put so far. So between those two that's a decision I'll make at the very last minute. Mm. But uh there's an often you guys have discussed for the ball game when I was for the young with the two Man City defenders. Mm-hmm. Uh De Bruyne and Mares. Mares has been pretty good for Man City. He's flying under the radar. Mm-hmm. Uh seeing a uh, Jamranka and he's been performing uh, pretty well. All right. Yeah. All right. And also on that FPL tip uh for forwards, Silas mm-hmm. Modric to Kwasi wa FPL. Uh kuna mm-hmm. some good forwards who have been very consistent. Uh like uh, Man United has Rashford and Bernardo the the, the Bernardo's the reason why I actually dropped performance so much did get it for the first time yeah. and he's, he 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 came in with a uh day of the month performance mm. uh, the first, Man United's first game is pretty hard but after that mm. all they have is easy fixtures so right? after that um the next nine fixtures uh, the hardest team is Sheffield Yeah, like, like and Leicester. So like yeah, after that they are playing uh, Sheffield, Bramall, Bayern, Bournemouth, Arsenal, Villa, Southampton, Palace, Bournemouth, Leicester. So Man United going forward kama kama una wild card especially. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice place to have a, a player there. Mm. Uh mm. Wolves. Guys are not talking about Wolves. We need your attack for Wolves even though they don't have any double game we coming up. Yeah. Their next nine fixtures are super easy. They have uh Uh, we'll run to, uh Wolves to the Wolves I think that one more to Sevilla that yeah. okay Arsenal Arsenal uh, and uh, then Sheffield yeah. Everton Burnley so Wolves have a pretty good run of fixtures yeah John yes then in Wolverhampton they do not have, they do not have easy fixtures they are playing relegation threatened teams this is the worst time to play them kuna hiyo right now so uh-huh. I say yeah, you mm. made a good point saying that they have some good matches coming up but now kwa time ya season yenye kila mtu ana fight relegation and over mtu to play akina west ham akina barnamouth vile msema akina norwich it's not really like the best time to play these teams right now mm. yes you may get like kimenez and ruben neves but don't really depend so much on so many of their players i think where we are right now like your team normal united mm. i would advise like bruno fernandes stick with them until the end and let's say like one of either rashford or pogba depending on who is going to be taking penalties after game year spurs So Overton I don't only pick one player either Jimenez or Ruben Neves no one else. I want to pick a defender Traore. from that team Traore 5.6 yeah. Traore Bana yeah, Traore's Traore. coming in 5.6 bro Angalia angalia ambia na niambia nyasha kuangalia returns zake Let me check uh, let me show you no, I'm looking at, at his returns in the last few games uh, he's he's pretty he's been uh, pretty distant in terms of his points return Let me show you okay, maybe the last few games no uh huh And I think you uh, have five goals this season and four of them are against Man City. Yeah, so pictures the who Pictures the who is going back to EPL. So on Anza na West Ham, then on acheza na Bournemouth relegation teams. Yeah, mm-hmm. then on end our way to Aston Villa relegation team again. Then Arsenal, Sheffield and Everton. Apo Those are so, not easy matches. West Ham, Bournemouth, Aston Villa. Relegation on top five. 
Yeah, relegation are top five. Yeah, relegation are top five. I think, yeah. I think you should pick the strongest person from that team. Jimenez. 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 Yeah. 